Hey guys, here we are on another press break delivery. This time we're over in Austin, Texas, and um, doing this one for the Salinas Group. And my contact there is uh, the owner named Sal. And been talking to Sal for, gosh, probably over a year and working back and forth on getting the right machine for him. And we finally settled in on this machine. It's a 110 ton, eight foot Prima Press brake. And um, you're gonna see some pretty interesting things in this video, uh, some things maybe you haven't uh, seen in other videos uh, because they have, uh, you know, obviously this press brake that we got for them, but they've got a non-axis robot plasma beam processing line. And I'm not gonna get to see it in action, but we'll get a little video of uh, the machine and Sal talking about it a little bit. And, and uh, in addition to that, they got roosters in the shop. Yeah, roosters. So we'll, ch we'll check out the roosters as well. So here you see they're using a telehandler to um, get the machine in there. I'm, I think it was the right machine for this uh, press brake. I, I don't know what this one was right at, probably 15K. Um, but they're huge and they, you know, uh, if you have a little bit of rough terrain, which they do there outside the shop, they're handy for that um, combination of concrete and some dirt. Um, but they are not that maneuverable because of the size of them and they're so big. And there seems to be a run on, on regular forklifts. I mean, like all these guys I'm selling to, either delivering to or shipping to, there, there's a, a shortage of forklifts for, available for rent in the bigger sizes. Um, or at least, you know, say 10K to 15K. But anyway, these guys, uh, you know, spent some time making sure they got this in the exact right spot that they wanted it. They have the electrician on standby. This robot, robot to do. But I got 65 feet of infield. It brings it here and it'll clamp down up to a four foot beam. So it's in Austin, Texas, and I have four foot beam. So laying flat, the beam. Laying flat. Any two, any angle, there is not a structural geometric shape I can't run through here. With the exception of pipe. A new pipe, but in my world, I'm not in the oil and gas business, so all we do is structural. So angles, square? Angles, channels, tubes, rectangles. These are the entry tables for the dogs. We'll pick up the piece of steel, which I can see in there. And then once the guys load it up, they'll transfer it all the way over there. All right, we did not get a chance to see Sal's machine up and running, but here is a clip I found on YouTube of that exact machine or the same manufacturer showing the non-axis uh, Fanuc or Fanuc robot with the, uh, I didn't show it, but up on top of the unit is his Hypertherm XPR. I think he had the 400 if I'm not mistaken, but anyway, you'll see the machine in action here. Everybody always wants to know, how much? How much does it cost? Well, I'm curious too. So I asked Sal and he said, all in electrical, building out the facility, everything included, 1.2 million. So this setting right here, if you if you need back edge clearance on the flip up, you can put this you know to six inches or whatever you want, and then hit start. 
start. All right. Right. So it's not started, so right. you want to hit start. Yeah, so okay. you gotta hit start. Ready? Get the hang of it.